this video is based around questions I get all the time. And it's all around like habits or little things that I personally do every single day that help me become the best version of myself. So hopefully you'll be able to take something from this video, apply it to your life, and hopefully you will then be able to see a little bit of a tangible difference. Up between four and five, always up between four and five. You wake up at four o'clock or around four o'clock in the morning. I, I look at Facebook. Right. Uh, to see to see what's going on in, in the world. Right, um, right. But do you get up at 2.30 when you're training? I do. It's unbelievable the degree to which our sanity depends on a functioning sociological structure. What's that about? What's the philosophy of the four o'clock? When you wake up early and you get a jump on the day and you've got your workout done and you've got a little bit of, little bit of work done, yeah. by the time normal people are getting up, you, that that's a win. That's a psychological win, and it's not just a psychological win, it's an actual win. So if I think about some of the habits that I have and apply to my life, some of them I think just come naturally and they're things just that suit me and my way of working. Some of them are more conscious and they're things that I've seen either other people do, I've been advised that I should do, so I've really tried to implement them into my life to really become a habit as well. So today I'm just gonna talk through some really simple top line things that make a massive, massive difference for me. First and foremost, waking up early and waking up at the same time every single day. So that's Monday through Sunday. If I'm traveling, I always try and keep it consistent and real, really keep consistency in my day. Personally for me, I'm an early bird, so waking up early in the morning really suits me. I have a lot of energy in the morning, and with that, as well as waking up early, I try to solve or at least think about some of the biggest problems that I have, and we have a Gymshark, early in the morning as well. And that really, really helps me. And I think I just have a lot more energy in the morning. My brain seems to be firing much better in the morning, and I just feel like I'm able to solve problems so much better. Okay. It's really cold. So yes, waking up early really, really suits me. But to be honest, the takeaway for me, for you guys on this, is about just being consistent. Whether you're waking up at 5 a.m. or 10 a.m., to me, I genuinely don't think it makes a massive difference. As long as you're consistent with that, I think it will really, really help. Secondly, carving out time every single day to learn something new. And that could be 30 seconds catching up on a quick video or reading something, or I don't know, just chatting to friends and really trying to just learn something new every single day. I think if you can do that every single day, then over a week, over a month, over years, it adds up and it compounds and you can learn and you can grow so much more than you could ever imagine. In terms of reading, I don't read loads of books, but I read lots of th sort of articles online. I watch a lot of videos and I talk to a lot of people. And for me, that's been completely game changing. Of the three, talking to people and just learning from every single individual that I meet, that is something that I think is really important and it's completely changed the game for me. So learning something new every single day makes a massive, massive difference. And if you're working in a business or running a business, then it makes such a big difference because you can learn different things that slowly and surely will help you develop both in your career, but also as a person and as an individual. The other thing that's really made a big impact on me is just asking questions. And when you're meeting new people, I genuinely believe that you can learn something new from every single person that you meet. So if you ask questions, if you're inquisitive as to, you know, why they do certain things or the way that they do certain things, or just maybe like trying to be educated in, in an area that they're far more knowledgeable than you are, that can make a massive, massive difference. And over time, again, these little gains, these little wins will compound and they'll make a huge, huge difference. I also find that if you ask questions of people, generally it's great for building relationships with those people. So if you're thinking about sort of your network and people that you're connecting with, just asking those people questions can make a massive, massive difference. Exercise. Now, exercise isn't something that personally I'll do every single day, but sort of four or five days a week, I'll always be in the gym, and it is something that means the absolute world to me. Gym makes you feel good. That's what I thought. It's, it's the obsession going with in. gym. No, it's, it's the obsession. going in, but the second you get out is like the best feeling ever, because you have this sense of accomplishment. When I was a kid, wasn't amazing at school, joined the gym, applied that structure in the gym that I learned to my school life and then later on my professional life, and it completely changed my life. I'm a firm believer that physical fitness will help mental fitness. And for me, that has always been the way. And the lessons that you can learn in terms of discipline, accountability, and quite frankly, just turning up by exercising regularly, it makes a massive, massive difference. For me right now, that is all about weightlifting. i am sort of gone back to my roots. I did a CrossFit for a little bit. I did a little bit of running, but now I am lifting weights and I am absolutely in love with it. Back to my passion, back to my core. Uh, and in terms of everything else that I'm doing, in terms of personal life, family life, and professional life, everything gets better when I am regular in the gym. 
The other thing that really helps me on a daily basis is consistency. And I talked about waking up at the same time every day, but like consistency in meals, consistency in, for me in terms of what I'm eating, but also consistency in meal timings. Waking up every single day, having breakfast at the same time every single day, lunch at the same time every single day. And often time I'll have like my tea at the end of the day at the same time. And that makes a massive, massive difference to me. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure as to why, but it just makes a really, really big difference. And I think it just gives me that consistency and that, that solid feeling of structure through the day. And it just really helps. So consistency for me helps. And cons like I said, consistency in terms of wake up times, food times, and just consistency in terms of, I guess, even personal life. It makes a really big difference because it means that I think, especially for myself working at Gymshark in the role that I do now, there's so much that happens on a daily basis and there's so many new things that I'm being exposed to all the while. But knowing that I also have that consistent personal life and family life makes a massive, massive difference too. This isn't really a habit, but I think this is something that's really important. And I think it's sort of on topic. Self-development and self-improvement, I think is massive and I think it will be completely life-changing. I'll give you many examples, right? There's, so for me, several years ago, terrible at public speaking, terrible at speaking in front of the camera. And it was something that I really had to sort of throw myself in the deep end to really learn how to be good at. And before that, I think I would have told you, you know, I'm not an outgoing person. I'm not the sort of person that likes to speak in front of crowds or in front of cameras. Whereas I think what you should think about is all of these different areas of your, I guess, of yourself, all of these skills that you maybe do or don't have, they should be completely up for grabs. And I don't think you should identify as being someone that is bad at public speaking or messy or unorganized or not good at a particular thing. I think you need to be really open-minded that those things are moldable and you are incredibly malleable, probably more than you think so. Now the things that should never change are your morals and your values, right? They will always be consistent and they should be grounded in essentially goodness. But everything else has to be up for grabs. And I think if you can have a mindset around that, around growth, around development, ultimately about change, about you can change yourself and you can improve, and you should be in a position where you look back on yourself two, five, 10 years ago and think, wow, how much have I changed? That is a scenario that you want to be in. So I think you have to be constantly like thinking about yourself, be super self-aware, understand uh, the parts of your personality that you do and you don't want to keep and realize that those things are up for grabs, you are malleable and you can improve. So hopefully that's been of use. These are little things, right? And I don't think if you, if you implemented these tomorrow, I don't think it's gonna change your life overnight. But for me personally, these are things that I've implemented over the last five and 10 years that have completely changed my life, changed me as a person, and I guess led me personally to where I am today. So yeah, just to summarize, I think consistency is massively, massively important. I think you need to be super open-minded and you need to be aware that change will come. And I think you need to be open-minded to changing yourself. I think you need to be learning new things every single day. And I think if you do those things over time, like I said, over weeks, months, and years, you'll develop, you will grow, and you'll slowly but surely become the best version of yourself.